Hi guys, and welcome to one of my favourite expert programming tutorials where I'm going to be showing you how to spin objects, alerts, pretty much anything. I'm just going to be showing you how to spin everything, anything, whatever. Um, and this will be uh, the first in a two-part tutorial. This one I'm going to be showing you how to spin things, and the next one I'm going to show you how to do more basic animations such as fading and pushing things in. Uh, pretty much anything you can do with a PowerPoint slide, you're going to be able to do in programmatically in Xcode. So it's quite exciting. So we're going to just call this one Spin Tutorial. Uh, I find I'm not using storyboards, up to you whether you will. Create that project. I'm using XIBs. So I'm going to just make mine a portrait application. And it's important to then go into XIB and add in an object. I'm going to add in a button and I'm going to make it a, uh, a just a custom button so I can make it an image. Because I want it to be an image for... Uh, one main reason which is I want it to be you click on the image and then the image spins rather than having a button that makes an image spin uh, I'll explain that more once we get to it so I'm just gonna add in an image I'm adding a basketball you can add whatever you want I just chose a random image uh, I'm just gonna build that so it recognizes the basketball is there so mine's called bbull.jpg there you go there's my basketball and then go into your split editor and add in two things we need to make that first we need to make it an outlet so we're going to make it a button for the outlet and we need an action called spin i'm going quite quickly today if you haven't watched any other tutorials and this is the only one you're watching you might not be able to follow along just follow along with the code if you're having any issues pause it and feel free to contact me at 99 com if you've got any issues with this uh, in like, and then we need to add some libraries, so summary, build phases, link binary with libraries, press the little arrow so you can view them all. Click plus, and then we need to add two, we need a quartz core, and we need to add a V foundation. And quartz core to animate it. Uh, a V foundation, I find it works better with it, I don't know why, you don't really need it. Uh, then go into your .h file. And we're just going to, you might need to build your project, just command B so that it uh, recognizes that you've added the libraries. Import, and then we need to do uh, quartz core first, slash quartz core dot H. And we also need to import uh, AV foundation, AV foundation dot H. And then build again. And then we're going to go into our spin method and we're going to start adding code. It's quite a lot of code, I'm going to go quite quickly. So just follow along as best as you can. So we need to create a CA basic animation, and that's going to create the animation. We're going to call it full rotation. Oh, sorry, I had caps lock on. Full rotation, because that's what it is. You can call it whatever you like. CA basic animate, uh, square open equals open square brackets, CA basic animation. Animation with key path in a string, and the end of string is going to be at talking mark, talking mark. Close the square bracket, semicolon, and then go back to the talking marks. And it's going to be called transform dot rotation. Uh, make sure you get the spelling right. There's going to be no type ahead with that, so it might be um, important to just look over it a couple of times, and make sure it's correct, because otherwise the app's going to crash. And then you need to do full rotation dot from value. This is the value it's coming from equals open square brackets ns number uh, number with float. And the float's going to be zero. We're going to start at zero degrees. Then we need to do full rotation dot two value equals, and this is a bit complex, ns number, number with float, and then you need to open two uh, circular brackets. Inside the first one, you need 360 asterisk m pi, because uh, obviously the radius of a circle is pi. And then close that circular bracket and then slash 180 we need to divide that number by 180 and then close the circular bracket close the square bracket semicolon and then we need to do full rotation dot duration and i'm going to make mine 2.0 and then full rotation dot repeat count equals uh i'm going to make my three then we need to do, uh, well, let's just make the image spin. So what do we call that? We need to go square bracket, and then I think we call it button. Yeah. Button dot layer space at space add animation, and it's the first one, CA animation for key in a string. 
and in the CA animation area we want it to be full rotation and full key add uh, talking mark talking mark 360 close square brackets and that should work so let's go out of that and let's try running it uh, let me just quit the simulator and then go back to the project and if we run it now what we should see is when we click on the image it's going to start spinning in a circle so let's the simulator open and essentially let me quickly go through what the code's doing we're creating an animation setting the value it starts at and ends at so let's click on the image and it spins and what you could do is you could disable it after it started spinning so you can't do this but as you can see it spins well and it works rather well so the next thing we're going to do now that we've got the button spinning is we're going to create an alert and make the alert spin which is quite fun to watch i enjoy watching it um so let's create a UI alert view. Uh, if you haven't watched our alert view tutorial, watch that because otherwise you won't know what I'm doing here. And this is just creating an alert view. Uh, so watch that. I'm not going to go through how to create it. Uh, uh, you can just set the text to be whatever you want. Then we need to change the code here from button.layer to alert.layer and then we need to show the alert, so alert show. Then let's run that. So now if I click on this an alert's going to show and it's going to start spinning. As you can see the alert's spinning and if I click the stop button it's going to stop. So we can make it even faster, we can make it uh, really fast, so make the duration shorter and make it uh, repeat more and that'll make it faster so if you make the duration number shorter and the repeat number longer then it's going to be really quick and if you make the duration longer and the repeat shorter it's going to be slow so you'll see this will spin really quickly we can make it spin uh, really as quickly as you want you can make it spin ridiculously fast that might just crash I don't know let's have a look it's too fast to even see so let's go to 0.1 Uh, that's quite fun to watch. So let's run that again. So I hope you've learned something in this tutorial about spinning objects. Well, that's fun to watch. Um, and in part two of this tutorial, we're going to be looking at other animations such as just fading objects in and out, and more basic animations, things you might add to a PowerPoint uh, at, um, show or keynote on Apple, whatever you want to do. And the, all these transitions are good for if you want to create a basic app like a PowerPoint app, which isn't really that basic, or a game, or really anything. The, in the next tutorial, what I'm going to be showing when I'm showing you fading in and out, is good if you've got, say, two views on the one view controlling, you've just dragged in an extra window, and then you've got one that hides and shows that window, but you want an animation like when you actually change views, that, that's useful. So watch the next part, it's really a good follow-up to this one. And I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts. If you've got anything that you want to know how to animate, please comment or subscribe and like and then contact me. Get in touch at 99centsappdevelopment.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.